All right, in this lecture, which is still part of our basic Unix commands, we're going to learn about file content handling or uh, way, different ways to view files and, and perform actions on the contents of files, but not quite full-fledged file editing yet. Uh, so the first and most simple is uh, cat, or that uh, short for concatenate, which can display the, the contents of one or more files. And basically, it streams it to uh, standard out. We'll understand what that is later, but it's basically the display of the of the terminal Unix terminal window. Um, we can often use a something called a redirect, which I'll have a whole lecture on later. Uh, but we can use a redirect to redirect the output of cat to a file. So. Just a real quick example. Uh, here you see I have a couple of files and a couple of directories in this folder. Uh, loop.py is one. If we type cat loop.py, it's a very uninteresting Python uh, com a script, and basically just a for loop. You can see what's in it there. Um, we can also see what's in test file, which is uh, basically 100 lines of Lauren Ipsum, uh, so a bunch of Latin nonsense. Uh, so one of the things we could do is we could cat um, loop.py with test file and redirect it to my new test file. Okay, so, so there you see there's a new file there. And if we use cat to look at it, uh, because it just streams everything to the screen, uh, we can't actually see the beginning of it, and uh, at least within our view here. So let's look at another tool that would help us uh, view different parts uh, of a file. So the next tool is more or less, and they're essentially the same tool. More was the original version, and it's found on basically all Unix machines, but most Unix machines these days will also have less which is actually just a, a more advanced form of, of, le of more, rather. So it's a little bit confusing, but I, I say that uh, less is more more. <laughs> so uh, anyway, this is a, a command that will allow you to actually view different parts of a file. Uh, more only allows you to go forward in a file, whereas less allows you to go forward and backward in one page at a time. And here I gave some, uh, you know, basic commands that you use quite often, but uh, there's many, many commands, and I direct you to the man page for that. Um, of course, if a machine has less, I would uh, recommend using less rather than more. Um, but if we go back to our example now, now we have a way to view uh, my new test file. So we can say more or less my new test file. And now you can see that the Python uh, loop.py is, is there at the beginning. We concatenated that with Lauren Ipsum, and uh, now we're viewing it. So if I hit J, uh, we're going to go down one one uh, line at a time. If I hit F, then we go down one page at a time, and then eventually we get to the end there. And if you want to quit, then you hit Q. So uh, I direct you to the man page for more information. But the nice thing about more and less is uh, uh, if you just want to view the contents of a file. Uh, they can actually be much faster than opening it in a proper editor like v or, Vi or Emacs that we'll learn about later. So they're very fast ways to just view the contents of a file. So then some other useful commands, there's WC which is a word count command. It counts uh, lines, wor words, not that's words, not works. Uh, that's a typo. I'll correct that in the notes. Right there. Should be word. And uh, then also head and tail. Uh, head prints the first few lines of a file, and tail prints the last few lines of a file. And tail can be very useful for checking in on simulation results. And I'll give you an example of that. Uh, so if we, if we go back over here, I guess first let's look at word count, uh, say test file there, then that basically says 100 lines, um, 1,155 words, and 6,928 6, characters. So that's a, that's what WC does, word count, okay? So let's also, we can use head to look at loop.py again. It's only going to display the first few lines of a file, but of course in this file there are only 
uh, two lines. So what I'm going to do now is demonstrate uh, tail by, uh, well, first let's run loop.py, the Python script. So basically if we run this, it's, it's simply going to print out to, to the screen, uh, you know, I as it, as it iterates to. So I'm going to hit control C and go ahead and kill that. And then we're going to do it again, but this time we're going to let it run in the, we're going to let it run in the background and we're also going to redirect its output. So instead of printing to the to the screen, we're going to redirect the output uh, to a file, and we'll, we'll just call that uh, uh, loop dot out. So it's just an output output or a log file uh, for this. So if we do that, and then we type an ampersand at the end, we'll run that in the background. So it's running right now, and we can check in on it by hitting tail dot out, and you can see that. We're at 819,000 right there, but we actually may want to follow this. So, if we if we type tail dot out and then we use a dash f on the end, then we'll follow the file. And of course, at this time it was actually done uh, running, so so it just followed it right to the end and stopped. So let me let me restart uh, loop dot pi again, and then and we'll do that, and then we'll follow the output. And you can see we're following the output. So this is a uh, a convenient way to check in on uh, some simulation results uh, while it's running. You can you can go and see possibly what time step you're on or where you know where your calculation is at, and then you can just hit Control C uh, to get out of it, and your your simulation will continue to run um, until it completes, uh, and you can use tail to just check in on it that way. So that concludes this lecture.